I can't even stop. Calling y'all. It's nice how they don't make it seem. But anyway. Hey everybody, it's your girl Selena Joy coming at you with another YouTube video. And today's topic will be on becoming more positive. And like always, I'm going to open up with my Bible verse for today. So today for you guys, I have Psalms 118.24. The Lord has done this very day. Has done this this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. That's basically what being positive is about. We can be a positive person and experience negative emotions, but we make conscious decisions to po focus on the things that are positive. And that's what makes us more positive. That's what makes us feel better, more joyous, more glad, because we learn how to look at things from a positive perspective. Instead of worrying about things, worrying about the future, worrying about, worrying about outcomes, worrying about tomorrow, we learn how to become present. We focus on the things that we can actually control at the time and enjoy the fact that we are here. Wake up and maybe try starting your day with some gratitude. You're alive. You are healthy. You are abundant. You're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? The key to becoming more positive is to become self-aware and understand that you have to drain out the negative thoughts. It's not that we don't have them. It's not that they don't exist. It's not that there's reasons why they're not there. It's that we literally choose to highlight even the negative aspects of life. And we choose to overcome. We don't allow ourselves to become victims to anything. It's a mindset. It's a decision that you make consciously every day. You wake up with intention. You wake up with gratitude. You wake up knowing that today is going to be a good day. I don't give a fuck what I go through today. I'm going to focus on the positive. Everything could go wrong. But I control today. I control my mind. I create my my whole reality based on the thoughts and patterns and behaviors in my mind. You make a conscious decision to overcome all that shit. I don't care what it is. Overcome it. Drown it. Feed your positivity. Feed your positive energy. Right? So what can we do to create a space where we allow ourselves to become more positive? Like I said, you can start by waking up every day and being intentional with gratitude. Thank God for the fact that you woke up. If you are healthy, and if you have healthy children, thank God for that. Because that is a blessing. If you have a roof over your head, no matter where it's at or what it looks like, you are more blessed than most of the world. If you have a car, no matter what kind of car it is, to get around, you're blessed. You have all your senses. You can see, touch, feel, all that. Hear, smell, you are blessed. You can walk, you are blessed. You're strong and you're capable of working, you are blessed. We're supposed to be intentional with the perspective in which we have. When you're going into your job, you don't go, oh, I fucking hate this job so much. I don't want to be here. This is horrible. horrible. No! Gratitude. Be grateful for the fact that you have a job. That you have a way to pay your bills. That you have a way to feed yourself and clothe yourself and your children. Oh, this isn't going right. You know, this is happening and this is happening and this is happening and this is happening. That is life. If you choose to allow your circumstances to overcome you, you will be fucking miserable and you will attract miserable people and more miserable shit will start happening to you. You have to have an internal shift to say, I'm not going to be like this today. You have to make a decision and be intentional every day and just remind yourself as you go throughout the day your emotions are coming and going they are not here to stay your emotions are coming and going your they are not here to stay and remind yourself that periodically when you feel yourself getting overwhelmed or some type of anxiety comes in or something bad happens and you don't know how to deal with it step back from it take yourself away from the situation look at it from a clear point of view Allow yourself to know that you're not in control of certain things and work on whatever it is that you are. That's all that we can do. There are going to be things that happen to you that are not in your control, that are not your fault. And you're just going to have to deal with it because this is life, this is reality, and this is a part of being an adult. If you want to live your life and be miserable and be stuck in negative thoughts, patterns, and behaviors and allow that shit to overcome you and be a victim, 
you are not in the right place because I will not give y'all space for pity and I will not give y'all space for sympathy. I'm here to motivate. I'm here to tell y'all and to show y'all what I've done in order to get to the place where I'm at. I have chosen most of my life to become more positive. But it was a process. And it came with a lot of pain. It came with a lot of understanding. It came with a lot of growth. It came with a lot of work that I had to do to fix my mind. Y'all feel me? I fix my mind. I'm working on myself every day. Every day. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. I'm growing every day. I'm coming better and better in every way, every day. I'm going to try to repeat after me. I'm becoming better and better in every way, every day. I'm becoming better and better in every way, every day, because we are. It's all about being intentional. It's all about making those decisions on a daily, consistent basis. Am I going to allow my circumstances to overcome me, or am I going to overcome my circumstances? Another thing I would tell y'all, if you want to become more positive, is to practice the stillness. Learn how to meditate. Learn how to tap into God. Find hobbies that bring you peace. Start reading, start journaling, start gardening, start doing things that you love. Because you have things to look forward to in life. Think about all your blessings. Think about the children that you, people, women, you know, they look at their children, they get overwhelmed by the work that it is to be a mother. You're blessed. You have healthy babies. You know how many women in the world wish they could have kids that would be amazing mothers and that would not fucking complain about a damn thing? But they can't. How many people wish they had a roof over their head right now, but because it's not a fucking mansion, you're ungrateful? How many people wish they had a car right now, but because you drive a Toyota and you don't drive an Audi, you're not happy? How many people wish they had a partner that loved them? And because your partner, I ain't even gonna go there. You can't even see what it is that you have in front of you. A lot of people, I talk to y'all. So I know what be going on. Y'all don't know how to practice gratitude. And y'all don't know how to look at the positive things in life. And I'm going to be honest. I started to fall victim to that the last few years. My husband had to help me so much with, you know, refocusing my mind. It's like, okay, instead of, I was a worrier. I'm so focused on my future and what I want to give to my family that I don't, I was not being present enough. I was not being present at where we were at because I was always so fixated on the future because I'm so ambitious and I'm so hungry and I want to do so much and give so much and be so much that I forgot that I'm so much right now, that I've done so much work right now, I couldn't even give myself credit for because I'm so focused on tomorrow all the time. So that's a, that was a toxic trait for me because then when shit didn't go my way based on the plans that I made for my future and my family, I started to get negative about a lot of stuff. You know, and I had to learn these things. I had to practice these things. I don't just get on here and talk to y'all about stuff that I don't do myself. I talk about trauma. I talk about healing because I've had to heal and I've been through every form of trauma that you could possibly think of. 99% of it. So when I get up here and I talk about positive thinking, healing, I'm actually coming from a space of a person that learned and who grew and ascended and elevated. And I want to help y'all too because I had nobody really teaching me this stuff. I had my partner... You know, my husband helping me through it, but I had to do the work in myself. So I can only speak from my experience, but I'm sharing my knowledge because that's the best thing you can do in life is to share, um, you know, enlightenment and knowledge with other people because it brings you so much peace. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about being intentional, showing gratitude every day, thanking God, having these habits that fill you up because you want to focus on the positive. You don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed by all the things you have to do. You embrace them. You actually look at them as a good thing. Um, <clears throat> you know, when I get up, I have a series of things that I do. Routine. Fills me up. Makes me feel very positive. I have a lot to pour from. But then I get to work. I make my phone calls, clients, business stuff. Stuff I have to do in my home. Stuff I have to do for my family. Cooking and cleaning. Multiple times a day. Going to the gym. Running errands. I actually have learned that I need to embrace these things. Because while at one point I would allow myself to get so overwhelmed because I'm like, I have to do this and 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 I have to do this because I would overwhelm myself. I would have 40 things on a list to do in one day. And when I didn't get those things done, I would beat myself up because I'm so ambitious and I feel the need to, to do and be so much that I was too much. I could never believe that I was enough.
We got to learn to just be still, to go at a slower pace that's good for you, to do what you feel good doing, and to embrace them in a positive way because it's not a burden, it's a blessing. And I'm coming from the best space because I know what it's like to allow negative thoughts to overwhelm you. You have to drown them, bitches. You drown them. That's what you do. You drown them. You say, I'm not listening to you. You don't belong here. And you drown them. Okay? Because they don't belong here. They're not telling the truth. They're not helping you. They're not serving you. So they got to go. If you're doing something and you start to feel yourself get overwhelmed, I have to do this and I have to do this and I have to do this like this. Drown them out. Y'all, just tell your mind. You're not welcome here. If you're negative, you are not welcome here. You got to go. And it's practice and it's consistency and it's mindfulness because this comes with mentally and emotionally maturing. You have to learn what is negative, what is positive, excuse me. And when you get the negatives, you look at them because they could teach you. It's like, okay, maybe you are burning yourself out. But then that's where the balance comes in because then you look at it and you're like, okay, I only can do what I can do. And whatever I don't get done today will get done another day. And you allow your space yourself face to breathe and that's okay because we're perfect we're imperfect you know you might as want to be perfect that's my problem <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all about positivity because it's literally the key to having everything in life because when you think about things more positively whether it be you know you're a new mom and you're learning and you're frustrated because you don't feel like you have the skills you embrace motherhood you look at it positively you tell yourself okay i'm not where i want to be i'm not how i want to be i'm still learning but it's the fact that you're willing to learn and grow that should be telling you you're doing something right so focus on that focus on the fact that you're becoming the best mother that you could possibly be you're becoming the best partner that you can possibly be because you're being intentional and you're putting in the work don't allow the negative thoughts to overcome you because as soon as you start to let them overcome you, that's when anxiety comes in, depression comes in, you know, and we don't, we don't have no space for that. We want to be happy. We want to be healthy. We want to be elevated. We want to be full of joy and peace and light. Negative thoughts are going to be there. We have to be aware of them. Sometimes they can help us and they'll teach us things. Like, okay, maybe, maybe you're burning yourself out. Slow down. That's about the only good thing that can come from them. But you ignore them and you focus on the positive instead of having the perspective of, oh, I have so much to do today. I have to go food shopping. I have to run my business. I have to do Facebook ads. I have to get this done with the business. I have to do this and I have to do that. Actually, be grateful that you even have a business in the first place. That's less more than what most people do in a lifetime. Be grateful. It's just all come like I think positivity comes from just being grateful for where you're at. Working towards where you want to be and being still and being grateful for where you're at right now. And being intentional with that every single day, being consistent in that every single day. Do not let the outcomes of tomorrow dictate where you're at, dictate where you're at right now. Okay? It's possible. It can be done. If you find yourself in a space where you're feeling more negative, you have to look back at what is making you feel this way. Are you burning yourself out? Are there some practices that you can put in place to help? Do you need to take a time out? Breathe. Wash your face with water. Have some self-care. Talk to God. Read your Bible. Meditate. Bible study. Whatever it is, we develop these practices usually based on our personality and our needs. So you find the things that help you. Music. Maybe the instrument you like. You like to draw. And you tap into that and you use that energy to calm yourself. Because we all have negative thoughts. But if you want to become more positive, you have to learn to drown out those negative thoughts. Patterns and behaviors. Uh, understand where they come from the roots of them and deal with the roots because a lot of the times where we find ourselves feeling more negative is because we have some deeper issues that need to be talked about and dealt with if you constantly feel yourself so overwhelmed you have anxiety you have some type of depression whatever the case may be it might not even just be you it might that or it is you but you need more help you need to seek professional help you need a therapist you need you know to find some practices on a professional level that will actually help you more than just mindfulness and being self-aware you know what i'm saying and it's just showing up every day showing up every day doing the work and remaining in the mindfulness and understanding that my thoughts do not control me i control my thoughts when you feel those negative thoughts and stuff creep in 
I'm going to say this again. Drown them bitches. <laughs> like, drown them, okay? Drown it out. It's not welcome here. And be consistent. And when you have a bad day, it's okay to have a bad day. Give yourself some compassion. But then tomorrow when you wake up, you set your intentions and you tell yourself, we're not having another bad day. We're going to have a good day. This is a good day. You train your mind. You reprogram your mind. So, yeah. Once again, crying baby in the background. Because <laughs> she, she's beating the door. Because she wants me to come downstairs so bad. But, yeah. I'm going to hop off of this. It's all for today. Um, peace, light, love. I appreciate all you guys' energy when you support me. You support my family. You know. Y'all have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe.